Hello, hello. Uh, quick word about the Iceland eruption. I was traveling for the last little while, so I couldn't uh, give it uh, the attention it deserves. And I uh, was yeah, falling short of providing updates. So here's a little chat about the eruption right now. So let me share my screen. And uh, the eruption is calming down just now, so that's a good thing. But uh, here we have the Icelandic uh, Met Office webpage. This is from um, the 4th of July, so this is uh, two, three days old. But the eruption um, has now kind of been active for about a week. And um, initially it was very vigorous, but now it's coming down. And new data uh, imply here, as it says, <clears throat> magma is continuing uh, to accumulate. So um, the whole cycle is not over. Likely we will have more eruptions to come, but this particular one seems to come down. The hazard assessment is the same as before. We're de dealing with the same type of animal. Uh, May 29th is where the eruption started along the Sundnuka uh, crater row, and uh, the lava was spilling out, traveling towards the south, but also to the north and west in particular. And there it was cutting off the road, uh, the Grindavik road, and it was traveling down to Grindavik and uh, was meeting the lava barrier area there. So here's a few photos, and uh, we look at the um, uh, the live cam as well in a second, actually. I should have it here, so let's quickly go there. So it's coming up. So this is the area, the volcano is here. This is the uh, main crater that's still active. There was a whole fissure system here, several hundred meters long that started to erupt, but this one is coming down now. And you can see a little splurge of lava every now and then. And uh, let's see, this one gets us a little closer, I think. So here it is. So here we still see lava coming out again at the main cone. This is very similar to the April, May eruption. And um, then we have a little bit of uh, lava, of course, in the crater as well. So the lava pond is still fed and uh, this continues to uh, add thickness, but also uh, add some lateral flow here. So here is the other one. And I think there was yet another view. So here it is. So this is the far end of this. There's not so much to see here. Let's see, we had more views here. So, so here we're adding to this pond and uh, there's a little bit of lava fountaining, but it's comparatively little at this point. So let's go back to the Met Office webpage. So we'll come down here. And I want to actually show you this map here. This is very useful. Let's go into that one here. So this red area here, that is the uh, fissure system that opened up. We're really having one main vent in this area here. And lava still spills out to the north, as I said, and it traveled also to the south and the west down here. It's traveled, it's traveled around the lava barrier, but uh, this is not active right now. And it came down here all the way. It did not uh, meet the sea. So uh, that's pretty good. There were several smaller ponds that were hit. So there was a few small explosions or steam explosions, but nothing too serious. There's one pond further down that has not been reached. The Blue Lagoon is here. So the Blue Lagoon is not in immediate danger in any way, nor is the Swartz Engi power plant. But uh, the road here was cut again, the road to Grindavik here. So it was just redone. Uh, it was a dirt track, but uh, I traveled on it in early April and now it's covered again. So it has to be redone once more. The lava did not travel down here. So uh, this little area here, this little settlement seems to be also safe. There was an arm coming down here, but it did not continue further down. It spilled, however, to this area here. So there is a possibility that lava could reach the sea and it could cut off the coastal road here, which of course would be very unpleasant because if this road is cut and this road is cut, then access to Grindavik will be very limited. So this will be very challenging. So let's hope this is not uh, reaching kind of this point. And let me see, there was uh, this image here from uh, uh, one of the Icelandic officials um, is one of the politicians and uh, he publishes regularly and this is a nice image. 
This is actually the uh, lava arm that went down at Grindavik. And um, this is the furthest extent to the south. This is the road that was cut off. This is uh, Thorbjörn. And um, behind Thorbjörn, here we have the Blue Lagoon and uh, the Swartzengi power plant. And here the lava was traveling around. This is the barriers, the berms. And uh, here towards this area here, we have the uh, ocean. So the lava was not reaching that. And here we have the harbor area. So, and uh, lava has also traveled down here. So really, it's it's like a fortress. Grindavik has become a fortress that is defended against the onslaught of lava, and so far it's doing okay. If that would if that barrier would not have been there, uh, the lava would have clearly come into the outskirts of Grindavik once more. This was the one from January that went into the outskirts, but it would have now kind of reached the uh, northwestern end if the lava barriers wouldn't be there. So let's uh, just look at this. There is uh, more live cam images and there's various ones. This one uh, looks like this today, just now. This is from one of the Icelandic newspapers here. And uh, well, we have seen similar ones. So I believe this eruption is now coming to an end and um, the uh, current situation is therefore not too bad. But uh, again, I think it's not over. The magma body is still receiving magma from underneath. The area is still swelling again, and uh, there's still new accumulation of magma. So more eruptions are likely to happen. Hopefully they will be in the same style and they will not um, trouble Grindavik too much in the sense that they will not overflow the barriers or not open up fissures inside Grindavik. But we never know. So I think staying alert is the call of the hour. And uh, I don't think we can relax uh, the safety precautions at this point. So I will uh, stop sharing now and I say thank you for the attention. And uh, I'm scheduled to go back to Iceland in July. So sampling the new lava will be very important. But I also have to realize that there may be yet another eruption until July, because that's a few weeks away from now. So the situation remains intense. Thank you very much and all the very best. Bye-bye.